How do you find the will to fight back against a world that wants to keep you sedated, average, and stuck in place? Join us for the tools and strategies you need to create a life of abundance, discipline, and high achievement. This, this, is, this is the Tactical Empire with Jeff Smith. Welcome to another episode of the Tactical Empire. It is right before New Year's Eve. I'm sure you'll be listening to this uh, after the New Year. Um, the topic I wanted to talk to you guys about today, as we continue to build the life of our dreams and reverse engineer exactly what we want out of life. I've talked to you a little bit about planning with your spouse, laying out your vision for what you're looking to do in the upcoming year. But you really need to evaluate how you spend your time and ultimately what efforts you're putting your time and energy into. I'm a huge believer in um, the fact that you have a finite amount of energy to spend on things. And <clears throat> that's even perceived energy as far as it being sucked away from you. Um, without your knowledge, be it in a job that you hate or having meetings that are just draining to you, you need to identify your optimal energy times and you need to identify those optimal energy activities and make sure you're spending your time on your priorities. So like if your priorities are fitness, freedom, family, and finances, you need to be you need to be categorizing your time into each of those buckets and how it's spent, right? And so as we head into the new year, this is a great time to audit all that information on how you're spending your time. Is it effective? Is it serving you? The things that you're doing, are they serving you? Um, so you're your habits, your routines, your schedules, the relationships you have in your life, meaning like even the associates that come around you, who you spend time with, who you make time for, the job that you do. Is it serving you on a high level? Is it serving your interests and your values? And is it in alignment with where you're going? The obligations that you've taken on and say yes to, um, side hustles, things like that. I've seen that with my clients where they've taken on an opportunity that may be something that's going to generate some more income for them. But what they found is that it's out of kind of alignment with their values or where they're wanting to go, or it just feels like far too much work. So it turns into a drain on their energy. Um, the assets that you have, are they too cumbersome for what you thought they were going to be? Um, I, the liabilities that you've taken on, do you have car payments or debts that you shouldn't have, um, possessions that you have, does your house need cleaned? Like, do you need to throw things away? This is one realization I had is that like, we've got too much shit. Like I want to get rid of things. And so I talked to my wife about that last week about like just cleaning out our stuff and getting rid of our things because I think that's part of optimizing your life. I think clutter, I think having too much stuff that you don't use, too many things, it it first of all devalues the way you view your your items and you don't take care of your possessions the right way when you have too much stuff most of the time. And so I, I just want to run leaner. And so that was something that came across my list of things. Uh, audit your thoughts and your mindset. I mean, are those, are your thoughts that you're having, are they, are they scarcity thoughts? Are they pessimistic thoughts? Um, because those aren't going to serve you well if you want to get to where you want to go. And, and if you want to optimize your life and get to the point where you're living in an, in abundance and you've got plenty of cash, plenty of love, plenty of relationships, plenty of everything, right? Um, you, you're not going to get there if you have a bad mindset. Your, your level that you rise 
from a wealth perspective, from a success perspective is going to be in a direct alignment with kind of the attitude that you carry on a regular basis and how you view yourself. So your self image is kind of directly in alignment with your, your production and your output. So if you have a terrible self image, you, you probably need to flip that on its head because that's going to be a ceiling for you and a limiter. So I say all that to say, go ahead and just evaluate all these things in your life and how you're spending your time. It, it, you can do this anytime throughout the year, but it's a good time at the end of the year to kind of take stock of what you've taken on. Have you taken on new responsibilities? Are you coaching some team? Are you doing that? Is it fulfilling to you? Are you showing up the way you should? And even in the relationships that you're in, are you operating from a place of the relationship is mutually beneficial for everyone and it's serving people for the long term? Meaning if it's not, you're wasting everyone's time. And so even if you're in a position in a business and you're giving it a half-ass effort, you have to understand and come to the realization that maybe that's not a fit for you because of the output that you're putting into it. So it's, it's mutually detrimental from that perspective. You're not showing up in the best version of you to serve that role. So it, it doesn't put your best foot forward. It's not showcasing your talents the way it should be. And the company is not getting 100% of your performance either. This could be in an owner role. It could also be in an employee role. So it doesn't really matter but you have to ask yourself a lot of questions when that comes up, right? Like, why aren't you showing up and giving 100%? And sometimes you have to just drop dead weight and cut the anchors because what, what you'll find is that all the things that I went through, all those limiters, they are just dragging you down and they are throttling your ability to operate efficiently and pursue the life that you want. And so you really have to just be honest with yourself and have these honest realizations that maybe the things that you're doing are not serving you at a high level and they're not going to get you to where you want to go, right? So the reason this is important to do is because success and money and happiness, it, it loves speed. It desires speed and action. And so for you, if you're bogged down by all this shit that you've taken on, you're unable to move quickly. Like, so you're slogging through, it's like walking in mud. And so you can't get wealthy slowly. I mean, you can, it's different though. Like if you stack assets over time, you can get there, but it takes making the decision quickly and then freeing up all these other albatrosses that are holding you back from ultimately your vision of where you want to go. And so when I say you can't get wealthy slowly, you can, but if you want to change your entire life in three years, it takes consistency on the direction that you're going and constantly shedding these things that are holding you back, whether it's bad habits, whether it's vices, things like that. You have to show up next year as a better, more improved version of you if you want to continue to move with speed towards your ultimate direction of where you want to go, right? So if you have this like North Star that you're headed at or your, your actual divine purpose, then you need to move in that direction with haste and not waste any time. So if you're bogged down by 50 different obligations or you have a social schedule that's too full to focus on skill acquisition, then you need to really recognize how much you want what you say you want, right? Because your actions are going to dictate your actual results. So take some time, audit this stuff. We talked about this in our inner circle meeting last week. And so um, if you want to be surrounded by a group of high-performing guys that are working on stuff like this, 
having honest conversations about this type of shit that what you can clean out of your life and what you can use to optimize and speed up your life, um, then hit me up. You guys can hop into the group. No problem. Um, if you're not interested in that, no worries. I'll be putting out content like this every week. So um, let me know if I can help you. I'd love for you to move in the direction of freedom and liberation for yourself and operating in your true purpose, because that's what you should be spending your time on. And I'm here to help you in any way I can. So you can reach me at Real Jeff Smith on Instagram, or you can send me a message at Jeff at the Real Jeff Smith dot com and otherwise i will be back next week to talk about another topic optimize your life in every way you can so here's to a great 2023 to all of you i hope that you move things forward and it's your best year ever thank you thank you for listening to the show make sure you subscribe leave a review and share with a friend we'll, we'll, we'll see you we'll see you on the next episode next episode of the tactical empire